Well, good morning. Uh, what I have here is I have uh, two different uh, EPM series power meters. Uh, the one at the top here, you can see, has the two channels. This is the E4419B, and the one at the bottom here is the E4418B. The only difference between the two uh, devices are that the dual channel one has a different front panel that has the additional channel uh, put here. You can see the lack of a, a channel there. Uh, and then it has a, a second uh, sensor card in the actual unit that uh, connects to the other sensor. But apart from that, the main boards, um, the sensor boards, power supply, everything else, as far as I'm aware, is uh, uh, all the same. Now, uh, I've had this one for quite some time, and I picked up this guy from uh, an auction uh, also quite some time ago. And uh, when I got it, it was turned it on. It seemed to be working fine. Uh, what it, uh, I went to just use it. I just went to use it. And uh, I tried to turn it on, and you'll notice that if I push the power button here, you can see the red light showing that there is power to the unit, but nothing happens. What should happen when I push that, you can see the green light comes on here, and then now the display starts going through uh, all its self-testing. So uh, I thought originally when I got it, I was uh, pretty lucky. Um, but now I think uh, they were right. And the reason I can say that is if we have a look here, let me, uh, I got this unit that had this out of service tag on it. I did a video on this, uh, I think. So uh, you can see that uh, they said that uh, wasn't working, a bad channel B function, bad uh, mains power, uh, confirmed bad power board. Well, when I actually got it, I saw that, plugged it in, seemed to work fine. So maybe, uh, uh, it was sort of intermittent, uh, and this is now it's fully dead. Anyway, I wanted to take a, a look to see if we can find where the, the problem is. And because I have a second unit, I can swap parts out uh, to see what goes on. So let's uh, uh, take the unit apart and uh, uh, see what we find. Okay, well, I've taken the cover off the unit. You can see this is the power supply here. Uh, these are the sensor boards. You can see they plug into, uh, there's two of them, and they plug into a little daughter board here. Um, and then they connect to the front panel. Uh, over here, you can see the battery. This is often a common uh, thing that fails. You need to replace those. You can just buy them off DigiKey. They're not that expensive. Uh, fan power. This is another thing that I, I don't know if this unit has it, uh, but some of the Keysight gear or your know, HPAC gear, if the fan is not running, the, the unit will not start up. And so that's something that you can look at, power supply and so on. Uh, if we flip the unit over and take a look, hopefully we'll be able to see this. Let me zoom in a bit. You can see that we conveniently have access to the power rails from the supply. So let's plug that in and uh, we'll set up my uh, EV blog uh, meter and uh, check it out. Let me move the drink of the day out of the road, which is uh, Rainier Lager. Uh, used to be a local company, a uh, very famous building downtown. They uh, converted it into art space. It was a Tully's coffee brewery, uh, roaster for a while. Uh, don't know what it is now, uh, but it's now owned by Pabst uh, instead of uh, a local beer company. And the beer is actually brewed uh, by some other company. I don't even know who it is, but it's contract brewed. So it's their recipe. Anyway, moving on. Okay. So let's start with uh, minus 12. Oh, it's 11 and a half. No, okay, close enough. Let's go for plus 5. 5.2, close enough. Let's go for, um, what's that, plus 5 as well? Yep. And plus 12. 
eh, a little low, but uh, overall not outside of the ballpark. So let's just uh, flip the unit over. Let me zoom back out for you. And we'll just flip the unit back over. Now, something else that can go wrong with these uh, units are that the membrane keyboard at the front dies after a few years or you know quite a bit of use or a bit of use um, and so they won't turn on and off but you can actually uh, trick that by uh, just shorting out the contact so let's do just here on oh, leave that out of the road on uh, jumper two and if you look in here, there are two little vias. Uh, there are actually four, but the inner two are the two that we're after. Uh, and you can actually just bridge those, and that acts like pushing the power button. So let me zoom back out. And we'll see if I can bridge the, the control. I'm sorry about this. This is not going to be in sight very much nope so i just tried bridging them it didn't turn on uh, let me disconnect the power and then see if we can measure uh, any resistance across there okay if i get in i should be able to onto those two vias and then hit the power button. So it's, I don't know what the resistance is, but the power button is clearly uh, working. Well, it's at least getting 60 ohms of uh, resistance there. So I think the initial look is that the power supply is working. Uh, I know the sensor boards worked. Um, we can take those out. Let's do that. Oh, sorry. Let me do it the right way because you've got to remove the you've got to remove the little clip up here. And then take out the flat flex. And now let's get the first board out. And there's the board. You can see that it uh, basically plugs into this daughter board here. And these two boards are uh, identical. If we do the same again with that flat flex, we remove that. You know, you can visually confirm that they're the exact same board. Um, part numbers are the same and everything. So if we power it up now, we should get... Uh, well, there you go. It's powered up and it says that... Uh, it can't find the board. So I wonder if one of the sensor boards is dead. Okay. Well, let's drop one board back in. Oh, hang on. Let's drop both boards back in and we'll just leave that front Oh, um, we'll just leave that front uh, sensor connector off. Interesting. Okay, so we're, we're booting up. Huh. I can't turn the unit off. 
Okay, let's take those boards back out. Now, there we go. And let's try Okay, well, that is interesting. I don't know what to make of that. The unit doesn't turn on and off, but it doesn't run. Let's put the boards back in and see if just playing around with them was enough to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, but now it doesn't turn off. Hmm, okay. Well, let me see if I can, using a set of tweezers might be a little bit easier, um, bridge that again. Let me just give that a try and see if that actually works. Oh, well, I tried with the, the tweezers and that didn't uh, change the power at all. The button still doesn't work. We know we measured the button. It does actually work. So I'm wondering if the issue is on the, the main board. We'll have to go away and uh, do some more investigation. If you have any thoughts, feel free to drop it in the... Uh, the comments and uh, I hope you found that interesting or at least weird and uh, I'll catch you again later. Bye.